Hey guys, I just wanted to throw a little tip out there for you fellows with a Gen 2 Raptor. If you're putting Morimoto's into your uh, setup, what you're going to have to do, and of course this isn't like, this isn't even how to install these. This is just a problem that I ran into that I think a lot of guys likely may have the same issue. But you actually have these clips on this flare that you have to take off because there are bolts that have to be accessed from the side here to get this excess trim off and actually, um, can't remember, there's one or two bolts that actually support the light there. Uh, but you'll see these clips, whoops, got this thing sitting on a seat here. These things are actually sliding into an open slot that's uh, on these clips here, or clips that are into the, uh, the tabs here on the flare. And what happens is you take out the couple bolts in the, in the wheel wheel, and you pull these out, they, you might get lucky. I got lucky and uh, this one pulled out okay. But what happens is, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna either destroy these barbs coming out or like what happened to me is these tabs are actually pretty thin. So you can actually pull these through those tabs, which isn't good because you're stretching and stressing this plastic. So it's not gonna be quite as tight as it was to begin with. So I recommend going and not doing what they say in most of the videos, which is pull the couple screws, pull out like two or three of these uh, clips and then do your light stuff and stick these back in because it's likely, if you're like me, it left the yellow tabs in there and it's very difficult to try to pull or break those tabs out without destroying your paint up around the top ledge here. You can see there's like this bump here where it, uh, that's where the foam touches. So that's actually covered up by the plastic, but what's easiest is to actually pull the whole deal out if you can stand it <laughs> and it'll probably once you get the back pulled out from around it kind of hooks under the bottom you can start to actually lift it to pull the plastic slots off of these tabs but i think that's the better route to go even though these clips are like i think i bought 10 of them they were like 50 dollars from ford which is crazy but if you just do it like i or like they recommended to do it uh, you're going to have trouble, especially like with this one, trying to get that out of there without bending and destroying your flare that's sticking out. Because most of these are going to be, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, videos for like a regular F-150. And it's just a little different, I think, on these flares. It's not quite as easy as some of those other models. So maybe that'll help some, or help some guys out uh, in the future doing this because I've been messing with this for a while. And I actually drove this around for... A little bit with it just bolted and this just pressed up against on the foam and i didn't have my uh my clips done upright but now that i've got the clips in i'm coming back to put it back to where it should be and that's about the only way i see you can do it without tearing up your stuff so good luck out there morimoto fans